June, a month typically associated with sunshine vacations and the start of summer. But for investors, June often evokes a different sentiment, anxiety. This is because June has historically been a challenging month for the U.S. stock market, often marked by heightened volatility and a dip in performance. This phenomenon, known as the June swoon, is not just a Wall Street myth, it is a statistically significant trend that has played out over decades. This video is brought to you by Higgins Capital, San Diego's fiduciary financial advisor. Data from financial analysts consistently shows that June ranks among the worst performing months for major stock market indices like the S&P 500. While past performance is never a guarantee of future results, the historical pattern is too consistent to ignore. Understanding why June is often a turbulent month for the stock market requires examining several factors, from seasonal trading patterns to key economic events. Before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. At Higgins Capital we bring you original content that you won't find elsewhere. Subscribe and be notified when we post. Thanks and now on with the video. Sell in May and go away. This catchy phrase has been a staple of Wall Street wisdom for decades. It reflects the belief that the stock market tends to underperform during the six months from May to October. Proponents of this strategy argue that historical data supports this seasonal pattern. They point to the fact that a significant portion of the market's gains often occur during the November to April period. However, the sell in May strategy is not without its critics. They argue that in today's complex and interconnected global economy, relying solely on historical seasonal patterns is overly simplistic. Market dynamics have shifted over time, and factors like geopolitical events, technological advancements, and changing consumer behavior can all influence stock prices regardless of the month. Furthermore, missing out on potential market gains during the summer months can be detrimental to long-term investment growth. Despite the debate, the persistence of the sell in May strategy underscores the perception of June as a risky month for investors. It highlights the importance of understanding both historical trends and current market conditions before making investment decisions. Blindly following seasonal patterns without considering other factors can be just as detrimental as ignoring them completely. Another factor contributing to June's market volatility is the Federal Reserve. The Fed, as it's commonly known, is the central banking system of the United States. It plays a crucial role in shaping the country's monetary policy, including setting interest rates and controlling the money supply. The Fed's decisions have a ripple effect on the entire economy, and the stock market is no exception. The Fed typically holds eight scheduled meetings per year, and June is often a month when a meeting takes place. These meetings are closely watched by investors because the Fed often signals its intentions regarding interest rates and other economic policies. Any hint of a change in the Fed's stance can send shockwaves through the market. For example, if the Fed suggests it might raise interest rates sooner than expected, it can trigger a sell-off in the stock market. This uncertainty surrounding the Fed's actions can create a climate of anxiety and volatility in June. Investors become more cautious hesitant to make significant moves until there is greater clarity on the Fed's policy direction. This cautiousness can lead to lower trading volumes and more muted market movements, further contributing to the perception of June as a lackluster month for stock performance. June marks the end of the second quarter for businesses, which means it's also the time for companies to release their quarterly earnings reports. These reports provide investors with a snapshot of a company's financial health, detailing its revenues, profits, and other key metrics. While earnings reports are released throughout the year, the end of a quarter, especially the second quarter, often brings a flurry of reports, particularly from larger publicly traded companies. This influx of financial information can lead to increased market volatility. Positive earnings surprises can send stock prices soaring, while disappointing results can trigger a sell-off. The sheer volume of information to digest, coupled with the potential for both positive and negative surprises, can make it difficult for investors to navigate the market effectively. This uncertainty can fuel further anxiety and contribute to the June swoon. Moreover, the end of a quarter often prompts institutional investors such as hedge funds and mutual funds to adjust their portfolios. They may sell off underperforming stocks to lock in profits or buy into companies that have exceeded expectations. 
These large-scale transactions can exacerbate market swings, making June a particularly volatile month for individual investors to stomach. Section 5, Investor Psychology, Fear and Uncertainty in June Beyond the tangible factors like economic data and corporate earnings, investor psychology also plays a significant role in shaping market sentiment, particularly in June. The historical pattern of the June swoon, combined with the uncertainty surrounding Federal Reserve meetings and quarter-end reports, can create a self-fulfilling prophecy. When investors anticipate a market downturn, they become more risk-averse. They may hold back on investments, delay major financial decisions, or even sell off existing holdings to avoid potential losses. This collective behavior can then trigger a decline in stock prices, fulfilling the very prediction that fueled the initial fear. This cycle of fear and uncertainty can be particularly pronounced in June, as investors grapple with a confluence of factors that cloud their outlook. The anticipation of the summer doldrums, when trading volumes typically decline, can further amplify this sentiment. Section 6. Historical Examples – June Slumps Through the Years The June swoon is not just a recent phenomenon, it has a long and storied history with numerous examples of significant market downturns occurring in June throughout the years. One notable example is the flash crash of May 6, 2010, which actually began in June and continued into July. During this event, the Dow Jones Industrial Average plunged nearly 1,000 points, erasing billions of dollars in market value within minutes. While the exact causes of the flash crash are still debated, it serves as a stark reminder of the potential for rapid and unexpected market declines, particularly during months like June when investor sentiment is already fragile. Another example is the market correction of June 2015, which was triggered by concerns over a potential Greek exit from the Eurozone and the slowdown in China's economic growth. This correction saw major stock indices fall by over 10% from their recent highs, highlighting how global events and economic uncertainty can amplify the June swoon. Section 7. Navigating the June Doldrums – Strategies for Investors While June can be a challenging month for the U.S. stock market, it's essential to remember that volatility presents both risks and opportunities. Investors who understand the factors driving market fluctuations can position themselves to weather the storm and potentially even profit from it. One key strategy is to stay informed, keep a close eye on economic data releases, Federal Reserve announcements, and corporate earnings reports. Understanding the forces at play can help you make more informed investment decisions. Don't let fear or speculation dictate your actions. Another strategy is to diversify your portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spreading your investments across different asset classes, sectors, and geographies can help mitigate losses and potentially enhance returns, even during volatile periods. Section 8, The Bottom Line, June's Challenges and Opportunities June's reputation as a challenging month for the U.S. stock market is deeply rooted in historical patterns, seasonal trends, and investor psychology. Factors like the sell in May effect, Federal Reserve meetings and quarter-end reports can all contribute to heightened volatility and anxiety among investors. However, it's crucial to remember that past performance is not indicative of future results. While June can be a turbulent month for the stock market, it's not necessarily a time to panic or make drastic portfolio changes. By staying informed, sticking to a long-term investment plan and seeking guidance from financial professionals when needed, investors can navigate the June doldrums and potentially emerge from the month in a stronger position. The key is to approach June with a balanced perspective, acknowledging the potential challenges while also recognizing the opportunities that volatility can create for savvy investors.